Oh my lord. Mm -hmm. she, what, what language are we speaking yeet? right now? I've heard that. <laughs> yeet, yeet. I think I know it. <laughs> Why? Well, I'm not cool. Yeet. You don't feel so much cooler right now? No. That is so disgusting. Yeet. Did he just yeet I feel on like, somebody? I know, I feel like that's it's, like it's a like gross It's an ejaculation. Word. It's yeeting on their faces. No, no. I've heard that and I had to regulate. I, I think it has <laughs> something to do with like an expression of excitement and I think you can like yeet yourself off a cliff. <laughs> that's like the usage I've seen it for. What is yeet? Is I, that really what it means? I mean, that's what I heard. I uh, could be okay. wrong though. I think it's a little more innocent than that, right? I Would probably even... am wrong. Damn, I have really bad children in my class. Oh God, I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna be interviewing these three men to figure out which one is secretly a millionaire. And today we're going to be taking a quiz about the cost of college around the world. Do you think you have cooler snacks than I had growing up? Maybe. Wow, I didn't think it would hurt as much as it did. <laughs> 378 to 800 per year. Per year. Oh wow, it is 750. You're kidding me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Julia. Hi, I'm Sarah Hi, I'm Rena. Hi, I'm Jonah. And today we're going to be taking a quiz about the cost of college around the world. We both actually go to UCLA. We yeah. didn't know each other before today. I don't know about you, but my school's pretty expensive. I think it costs around like 70,000 a year. I'm actually the opposite. I go to community college. And you're out of state, right? Yeah, I'm out of state, so it's even worse. Yeah, I think it's cheaper in other countries than in the US. Should we start? Yeah. About how much does a university education in the United Kingdom cost per year? $9,000? $15,000, $30,000, or $120,000? I feel like nine. Nine? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, yeah? yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's either nine or 15. Yeah, I was le leaning towards 15. We got it right. <laughs> <laughs> we are wrong. It is $9,000 <laughs> for the whole year. Average tuition fees are 6,000 euros or 9,000 USD. That's like. That's really good. That's really good. <laughs> it's coming in the UK. <laughs> in Los Angeles. About how much does a public university in Japan cost per year? There's $200,000, $8,500, $22,000, and 57. I have no idea actually. For some reason in my heart, I feel like it's 200,000, but that seems so not. outlandish. <laughs> I think no let's clue. just go with the cheapest one. Okay, let's do it. 22,000 or 8,000? Eight, maybe? Yeah, maybe it's. I feel like US is just outlandishly yeah. expensive. You oh, got yep. it right. Eight thousand. Right. <laughs> I'm sensing a pattern. About how much does a public university in Russia cost per year? Sixty-seven thousand dollars, thirty-four thousand five hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, or eight thousand dollars. If it's five hundred dollars, I mean, I feel like it could be five hundred. I feel like it's five hundred. I'm gonna go with eight thousand. This uh, five hundred? Can it be five hundred? It's just there. And when uh, you think of like exchange rate, what what do you think? I still think eight thousand. We can go for 8, it. Let's see what happens. Correct. Oh, uh, good job. Thank you. No. No. <laughs> we were wrong. Ranges from a thousand eight hundred to like eleven thousand USD. That's a big range. Big, but big range. <laughs> How much does a public university in Mexico cost per year? Seventeen thousand, three thousand, thirty-five thousand, five hundred, or five hundred. Five hundred. Yeah, I think three thousand. Yeah, three thousand. Like... Three thousand. I didn't see that one. Okay. Three thousand. Three thousand. That seems like a nice. Five hundred's too low. Yeah, that's yeah. like. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> oh. we're wrong. We were oh, wrong. We're wrong. Oh wow. It's 378 to 800 per year. Per year. Wow. It's nothing. I, I don't like that. <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> <laughs> About how much does a public university in China cost per year? $750, $5,000, $17,000, or $30,250? Maybe 30. Less. Less? Uh, Maybe it's 5,000. Yeah. I'm gonna go with 5,000 on this one. I'm feeling more the 17,000. I don't know why. Let's do that. Let's, Let's do, do that? Yeah. Okay, why well, should it be 5,000? What do you hope it is for them? <laughs> for them, I hope it's 750. Yeah. <laughs> Five? Yeah, I think so. It's $750. Oh, wow, it is 750. You're kidding me. <laughs> well, they're winning. <laughs> they're winning. So, um, so very little. Yeah, that's like, like really 
really cheap. About how much does a public university in the United Arab Emirates cost per year? $14,000, $80,000, $300, or $24,500? I feel like it's more than I feel like others. it's like exp I feel like it's like 80. You think it's 80? I think that's really crazy. I do too. Maybe 24,000? Okay, we can go with that. I don't think it's 300, so I'm gonna go with like the next highest 14, one. 14,000? Okay. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. We got it. Cool. Oh, and we were wrong. 10,000 to 19,000. Okay, so that's so like the kinda, U.S. kind of. Yeah, kind of. Well, like a public well, school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> About how much does a university education in Sweden cost per year? 3,000, 15,000, zero dollars, or 43,450. One of the options is zero dollars, and it's Sweden, and they're all like, be happy. I, can it be completely free? I don't know. I think it's free. I think it's free. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah. I feel like if someone was like, make public university education free, they'd be like, well, where do they do that? Like, Sweden sounds like okay, the right I answer. <laughs> yeah. Well, good job. Damn, let's move to Sweden. It's free. It's free. And 85, <laughs> <laughs> it says 85% of Swedish students graduate from universities. With, with debt? Oh, the cost oh. of living is high. So it's like they live in LA, but they get free college kind of vibes. But we live, but in, we LA, live in LA and, and we, we, don't. Get, <laughs> we don't get free college. So. <laughs> About how much does a public university in Egypt cost per year? $15,000, $6,000, $26,000, or $1,000? Maybe 1,000? I'm guessing like either 1,000 or 6,000. Let's do 1,000. Okay, let's do it. I feel like it's like 1,000, but maybe I'm being ridiculous. I feel like that's good. Did you try it? Yeah, it's that's right. Correct. Oh, correct. Good job. How much does a university education in Canada cost per year? 32,000, 50,000, 12,000, or 5,000? I think Canada is more expensive than the other countries you've done so far. I think it's like 12. I feel like it'd be kind of equivalent to the U.S., right? I feel like 32,000 yeah, is a yeah. good number. Definitely not 50,000. And not 5,000. Yeah, 32. I think it's like almost free. I can't remember now. As it should <laughs> like be. Like maybe like 5,000? Okay, maybe. Or is it 12,000? Let's, Let's go with 12,000. Okay. No, it was, you were right. That's nice. <laughs> good. Average is $4,939. Oh, wow. That's a good price. Cheaper than I thought. And there are some really good schools in Canada. About how much does a university education in South Korea cost per year? $67,000, $23,000, $4,500, or $13,000? I don't know. Maybe 67? I don't think so. No. <laughs> <laughs> Should we try it? Sure. I don't know. I'm gonna say four thousand five hundred. I'm gonna agree with you. Okay, let's see what we get. <laughs> oh crap! Oh cool. How are you so good? At this? <laughs> no. So average, we were wrong. Yeah. The yes. average is five five thousand dollars. About not sixty seven thousand dollars. <laughs> He's projecting. <laughs> In Chile, it's either seven thousand six hundred, nineteen thousand, two thousand, or fifteen thousand. I'm gonna go with 2,000. But like 7,600 is so specific. You're trying to be safe? Yeah, a little gonna bit. Gonna do that one? Like 2,000, just like. Let's see. I don't, you're probably right, but like, I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> probably 2,000. Yeah. Oh. oh, you're oh. right. Okay. Cool. An average year of college in Chile costs $7,654. Oh, that's not, that's not terrible. This one we should get. About how much does a public university in the United States cost per year? $50,000, $21,000, $105,000, $105, $10,000. It depends on if you're in, in state or out of state. I know that one. I think like public is like 21,000. 21, public university, I think is 21,000, right? Can I come with what you say? Right? I, know it. I really don't know. Yeah, you're right. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> but. At private institutions, it's 48,000, so. <laughs> we got eight out of 12. It was all you. Okay. I just sat of, here. Not really. I clicked on it. We got five, five out, out of 12. 12. Are you going to do this with it? Honestly, I'm considering it. Free education, nice yeah. country. They're pretty chill there. Are we moving to Sweden? I wish. Yeah. I'll be there. <laughs> Hello, my name is Mandy. I was a middle and high school teacher for six years. Hi, I'm Vanessa, and I've been a preschool teacher for 12 years. My name is Silani, and I am a science teacher. I've been so for five years now. Hi, my name is Stephanie, and I've been a teacher for three years. And today, we are guessing teen, teen slang. slang. <laughs> what? Clout. <laughs> 
demon. I don't fully know it, but I've heard of, I guess, clout adjacent terminology. Clout what? demon. Oh, well, I've never Is that, heard of that like a criminal or something? Like <laughs> I have no idea. Something evil? Something not? Maybe you're trying to sab sabotage somebody's Instagram popularity. I don't know for sure, but I imagine it's some sort of evil misuse of notoriety. Right? <laughs> clout uh, is like trying to get like notoriety, I guess. So a clout demon, maybe somebody okay, that's okay. really obsessed with being popular. I'm gonna guess Oh, that. that's a good guess. <laughs> now that you explained what clout meant, I can kind of, yeah. I'm gonna go with like popularity demon. All oh, right. Oh, okay. Was it too far off? They oh. do anything for club. They do any. That's all I know. Somebody trying to be bigger than they actually are to show, ah, show off almost, or I don't know. I know I've heard this before. I know what glow up is. Glow up is like when you start out not so cute, and then you finally grow up, and you're like amazing, and you floss on everybody and let them know how amazing you are, or you like look beautiful, or maybe they get their makeup done. I don't know. That's the, what I was thinking. The glow up is yeah. real, like like you, know, you got a makeover, glow up, or your life got a makeover. And <laughs> basically, you, you you grew up to be hot. A glow up is kind of like a positive transformation. So if you're looking back at your awkward middle school years and you look so much better <laughs> now, you've achieved a glow up to look the way you do now. Ah, thirst trap. Like you're trying too hard? Like you're thirsty for something? You're like, tr you're true. really like, you're trying too hard. Somebody who's thirsty for something, trying to, oh. <laughs> If you're thirsty, you're wanting something. You're wanting more attention. A thirst trap is when people post pictures that are like attracting certain types of attention, usually half naked. Boys will like be half naked or girls be half naked too. Same thing. Oh, difference. okay. So And close. then they'll like, you know, get you to go to their page for whatever reason so they could sell you some tea. I don't know. <laughs> I'm <laughs> actually <laughs> not proud to be doing so well on this. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> um, so it's when you post a picture on Instagram that like is provocative and the intent of posting Posting this is to get thirsty dudes into your DMs. See, I don't know because I don't do that. Yeah, your preschoolers <laughs> again, it would be terrible if <laughs> TFW. TFW, is it like the f I don't know, like, I don't know what the, I don't know. I don't know I don't what know. TFW is, I need, I need help, guys. Yeah, I, I need TFW. help as well. <laughs> Thanks for <laughs> I think it's the face when, and it's like the face when, and then you can fill in the blank, and it's like a meme thing, like the face when you have to eat gross school lunches at BuzzFeed, and then you make that face. <laughs> I had that also. Wow. Oh. That feeling when that I don't know. It's a lot more I'm innocent than that. I know. I'm all thinking it's something really bad. <laughs> well, now I know. Jomo. I know this one. Do you know it? No. <laughs> something similar to FOMO, I'm guessing, but you change, change word. I know FOMO. It's fear of missing out. Jealousy of missing out. Yeah. Jomo, no mo. Joy, no. <laughs> joy of missing out. Joy of, Ooh. joy of missing out. I actually recently heard this one. No, no, joy no. of yeah. missing out, is that a good thing? Yeah, that because like, you're, you're like, oh, I don't want to go to that party. Oh, like, gotcha. I don't care. Jealous of missing out? I, 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 I don't know. Okay. That was my guess. You're very much on the right track, but this is the joy of missing out. Like when I choose to stay in bed instead of going yeah. out to that crazy party. That's right. I totally feel Jomo. Absolutely. Receipts, like a receipt. Like CVS, like the really long ones. I have a bunch in my purse. <laughs> I'm sure that's not what this is, so. It's not, so <laughs> it's screenshots of anything happening that you can kind of use as proof. Oh. If somebody deletes something, you have the receipts. <laughs> I guess I have some of those after all. Oh, I know what receipts like are. Oh, you go do, ahead. oh, okay. No, I'm gonna let you, go ahead. Oh, um, no, 
<laughs> I'm like, I mind was gonna be so. I'm like, uh, you read that? Like, you know how you get like a read receipt? I'm like, is that what that is? Am I way off? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I mean, I could, I could be wrong. I think receipts are like proof of something. Like, say somebody was talking. Okay. And then you're like, I got receipts. And then you show them your phone and they text, they screenshot it or something. Mm. It's like proof. That show makes a receipts. lot more sense <laughs> than my explanation. Oh my lord. Mm -hmm. she, what, what language are we speaking yeet? right now? I heard that. <laughs> yeet, yeet. I think I know it. <laughs> Why? I'm not cool. Yeet. You don't feel so much cooler right now? No. That is so disgusting. Yeet. Did he just yeet I feel on like, somebody? I know. I feel like that's it's, like it's a like gross an ejaculation. Word. It's yeeting on their faces. No, no. I've heard that and I had to regulate. I, I think it has <laughs> something to do with like an expression of excitement and I think you can like yeet yourself off a cliff. <laughs> That's like the usage I've seen it for. What is he? Is okay. that really what it means? I mean, that's what I heard. I oh, okay. Wrong, though. I think it's a little more innocent than that, right? I Would probably even... am wrong. Damn, I have really bad children in my class. Oh God, I'm wrong. <laughs> what you refer to as ski? Oh Jesus! Oh, yes. Okay. Ski, ski. Okay. Trill. I do know that. Oh, I've totally heard this. I know I've heard it used. I just, nope, nope, I'm drawing a blank. I've heard that word in a rap song. <laughs> Trill. <laughs> Trill. Cool? I don't know. I don't know what you're Trill. Uh, noisy? <laughs> I'm starting to <laughs> doubt myself on this, but I believe that it's like genuine, like true and real. Like, oh, he's Trill, and that, that means that. It's not fake. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even guess, so good job. <laughs> I'm not even guessing these. I feel like a totally uncool teacher. Like, granny over here knows none of the slang, and part of me is sad, but then part of me is okay with it. Since I'm not even a teacher anymore and haven't been for <laughs> almost a decade, I don't understand why I know this. I don't even watch TV, so I don't understand <laughs> where this is coming from, and You're I want to. Naturally hip. See, I don't know the new term for hip. From I the like 80s. rad. We, we used rad. You're naturally rad. rad. I'll take that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I learned a lot. I didn't know a few of them, and now I'll be paying extra attention for some of those words. I feel like I learned a lot. I definitely am going to be using the word yeet in a different way. Now I'll be <laughs> when kids throw trash across the classroom. I'm like, he just yeeted us. I snack during class because I don't really eat a whole bunch in between. And they just let you do that? No. no. That's what hoodie pockets are for. Oh, I'm an elderly man, but when I was a youngster, boy, did I love my snacks. I grew up in the uh, golden age of snacking, and I'm excited to share that with some youths. Kids these days have like more access to just internet. Like they know what's healthy and what's not. I mean, if you looked at my sugar intake in a day, <laughs> Lucky Charms, work. breakfast, lunch, and dinner, plus a midnight snack. I mean, I'm living the life. That sounds like the actual life. Uh, when I was growing up, there weren't a lot of healthy snacks. I think the closest we got was some peanut butter on a stick a celery and put some raisins on it. Call it ants on a log because yeah. if you've ever seen ants on a log, <laughs> that's what it looks like. Do you think you have cooler snacks than I had growing up? Maybe. Wow. I didn't think it would hurt as much as it did. <laughs> Are you ready to eat some snacks? I'm yes! <laughs> Great. First up, snack packs. Chocolate pudding. Made with real milk. Oh, that's reassuring. I'm not sure if you guys fully appreciate the joy in finding one of these bad boys in your lunchbox when you were a kid. I would never so. see it at like a lunch table. I see a lot of like yo play, like the little like yogurt thing. I feel like everyone now is more educated on like what goes into food a little bit more. When I was a kid, it was just more like whatever's cheap and fast was kind of it. And whatever had the coolest commercial. <laughs> really, really savor the peel. It's part of the process. I'm not too big of a fan. When something's like in a package too long, you can kind of taste the packaging. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what this tastes like. So as delicious as I remember. I don't yeah. really like pudding. You don't? <laughs> I just that's don't well. like the texture. I have no words. I'll eat it, but like it's definitely not my first choice. This yeah. is a no for me. Yeah. It's gonna be a no for me, dog. Yeah. I have these at my house right now. I have yet to outgrow these. Next up. Candy snacks. These are one of my absolute favorites. I have a documented love for these. Oh my god, that smell. It doesn't smell like cheese, it just smells like this snack. 
These were popular because in first grade, there was this, a bully named JT Pickett <laughs> who always so fake. stole these from me. It tastes fake? Uh -huh. Well, it's not. Well, it's not real. Describe to me the roller coaster of flavor emotions you're experiencing right now. It's crispy and like liquidy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. This is quality snack. It's good. It's also it's not good. my favorite. You can't stop eating it. You I can. I can't. Which is better, these or seaweed chips? These. Why am I eating it still? <laughs> oh no. Next up, yogurt. The yogurt for walking around with. I remember when these were the hot new technology in the yogurt world. I spent 10 years of my life avoiding yogurt. Then a commercial comes on the television <laughs> and tells me that there's yogurt. I used to have these a lot, but this is probably gonna be like the first time I've had one in like four years. I love this. There's like always uh, a little corner thing that's made it super easy to tear open. No, but... it doesn't. <laughs> what? <laughs> Great, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just like I remembered. Oh, that was two years ago. <laughs> I think it's delicious. Tasted almost like strawberry. I don't hate it, which is a plus. They're still amazing. And the tube makes them better. I think if they were in like a cup, they wouldn't be as good. I just realized that it's by uh, Yoplait. It's all the same stuff, man. <laughs> they just put it in the tube. <laughs> pizza time. Not pizza, but pizza. Lunchables. Oh boy, you are in for a treat today. This is my favorite, probably, of all my childhood snacks. My mom never really bought these much for us. It's not like a big health nut, but we'd ask for these and she'd be like, I'll get them for you, but why? You want these? <laughs> oh my God, it smells like nostalgia. I just remember the sauce being so messy. The cheese always tasted strange. Are you guys excited to try this one? Yeah, but I don't eat pepperoni because I'm vegetarian. Yeah, I don't eat pepperoni either because I'm vegetarian too. It's cold. Yes, that's the point! I, know. I loved eating it cold. So, we'll just pass this down and we'll do some uh, some sauce and cheese. Is that good? Okay, yeah. Also, more pepperoni for me. Are you making a little smiley face? A little smiley face that's and then wonderful. he's gonna get demolished. Does anything about the idea of this gross you out? Yeah, um, it's like putting like marinara sauce on pita bread. Don't ruin this for me. <laughs> <laughs> marinara is also like out of like a package. <laughs> Yeah. It feels rubbery. Yep, that's, that's the 90s for you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can have all the cheese. I'm just gonna go sauce and pep. No, it tastes like rubber, but like in a good way. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not a fan, I'm sorry. Really? I think it was all right. Better than I expected, but not great. It doesn't taste like pizza, but Lunchables isn't supposed to. No. Mm -hmm. And I'm okay with this. It works, right? It's delicious. It's like assembling a pizza, but like not putting it in the oven. <laughs> I'm like, out of my body right now. <laughs> I'm a child again. It's one of those things, I'm so bad it's good. So is this something that you guys would ever voluntarily eat again? No. Cool, you guys. I'll just finish it. Oh, oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, if it, well, one more time. Oh, what, what did you say? I'll finish it. Oh, you're gonna finish it. But yeah. only because I have not dinner yet and I'm really hungry. Oh. One thing I've noticed that that's completely different from your generation to ours is that we like our like spice. We like different flavors. Bam, Takis, cornerstone of youth education. Really spicy. And kind of limey. They're the best. Oh, oh! I didn't know they were rolled up like this. Yeah, they're like rolled tortilla chips. Yeah. As someone who hates sweets and is more a fan of salty spice, yeah. I am delighted to see this much seasoning on them. I, yeah, I could these. eat five bags of these. Lime and spice go together <laughs> so well. Did you, are you all right? Too much Taki? <laughs> Inhaling that throat. dust? <laughs> what do you guys think of 90 snacks? They weren't bad. I had one good one. They just felt a little bit cardboardish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then you have your go gurt that honestly is like a throwback. It tastes so good. I don't think you would have been happy in my youth. I feel like I would have. I feel like I would have gotten tired of it. I don't want to try your generation. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fiona, maybe? Well, no, because okay. we have them, so. <laughs> Do you guys feel like you are healthier? Like before you eat a snack, do you actually look at the label and I'm like, what am I about to eat? I feel like parents are on the child a lot more now. We know what we're supposed to eat and they kind of expect us to make the right choice. Obviously we're not gonna make the right choice all the time. We like to have fun, we're kids. Yeah, it's we can matter. balance it out. For every cookie, we eat a carrot. No, but you know, <laughs> one day we'll have more vegetables than cookies. That's incredible <laughs> because I gotta say when I was younger, I don't think any of us were paying any attention to what we were eating. We were like, we're kids. We'll just eat crap. But obviously, you can't go wrong with your lucky charms. You can't. You can't go. Cereal? I'm gonna keep bringing snack. that up. <laughs> I love it. 
I'm an actor. Okay. You know, have you traveled at all? Or? Yeah, I've been to uh, 14 countries, been to Europe, Africa, most states in the U.S. You must train and work out every day, huh? I might. Oh, come on. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hi, I'm Liz. I'm 20 years old. My name is Ronald Smith. I am uh, 74. And I'm going to be interviewing these three men to figure out which one is secretly a millionaire. I think I'll be looking for, you know, like fake confidence, bougier interests, definitely like how educated they are. Hopefully I'll be able to figure the right one out. So, what do you like to do? I'm an athlete and I uh, do uh, Ironmans, so like long distance triathlons. So I just try to do that for fun. Oh, that's cool. You must train and work out every day, huh? Yeah, pretty much. Take a little bit of a break the, during the off season, but pretty much train every day. Where was your last one? It was in Montremblant, Quebec, Canada. Employment-wise, um, what kind of work do you like to do or are you interested in? Um, I'm, I'm really focused on uh, triathlon at this point. It's kind of my main job right now. Oh, really? Yeah, it's quite a busy schedule to train. So that means you don't really have any business experience or anything like that? I might. Okay. Do you like to do anything else? Uh, I have this little drum that I like to play with every once in a while. Are you married? I'm not married. I'm scared. <laughs> um, do you like to go out? Uh, not really. I'm an early sleeper. Yeah, I like to get in bed by like 8 or 9 o'clock. Do you get up early too then? I try to. I try to sleep when the sun goes down and when the sun comes up. Just try to be in sync with, I guess, whatever's happening with the Earth. Yeah. So have you ever been on a cruise or anything like that? A cruise? I have, I have been on a cruise. Yes, I have. Okay. What do you like to do in the morning? I think the first thing I like to do is to drink a big glass of water and just get out in the sun a little bit. It's kind of my big thing, is just see the sun and be happy that I made it to the next day. Yeah. I'm trying. Johnny? Yeah. Uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> How are you? Good, good, good. Thank you. Um, can I ask what's up with the hat? I'm from Colorado. <laughs> Cortez, Colorado. And now you're in California? No, no, no. My daughter, I have a daughter that goes to Azusa Pacific. Oh. And uh, I have another daughter, her and her husband are, they, they do music, stuff like that. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. What do you do? Uh, well, I'm we're kind of retired right now. You know, my wife and I, my wife does a lot of uh, nonprofit stuff. So you say you retired, so what, what, what kind of work were you doing? I was in the construction industry. Mm -hmm. So what, what are your interests? I mean, do you have any hobbies or? No, we're retired now. So, so we, uh, you know, in Cortez, it's a small town. So we, I do a lot of fishing and we uh, do some hunting, you know. So you, that's the only sport that you do? Is I golf once in a while, but I'm not that good. I don't keep score, but my brother, he's, he's a, like a Utah State coach champion kind of thing. So I go with him and he... And he keeps score. Yeah, he does. Yeah, I just, <laughs> I just go mess around. But I golf, yeah. You know, have you traveled at all? Or? Yeah, I've been to uh, most states in the U.S., 14 countries. I've been to Europe, Africa, South America, Central America, India, Asia, China, Hong, you know, Hong Kong, different places. Okay. Uh, so you've probably been on cruises and stuff. Yeah. Uh, I want to, but my wife is not big on water at all. Water. So she says, you can go, but you got to go by yourself. So, <laughs> oh, <laughs> come on. So I know. So I'm not even the three-day to Mexico. We, she won't do that one either. So, yeah, that's not in the books right now. So, that's my life. Sounds boring, huh? Probably to a California. No, to I mean, California. Sounds boring. I'm from Ohio, so. Oh, you know what I'm I know about. how it is. Yeah, of course, your rivers are bigger. I yeah, know, on yeah, fire. Where are you from? Well, from uh, Suffolk in England, just mm -hmm. outside London. What brings you to the US? I'm an actor. What kind? Theatre, film, TV. Oh, so everything. Yeah. Uh, what was your most recent project? It's called, it's called Julius Caesar, the opera. Oh. Yeah, Yeah, I sing as well. So I was in a small scale opera, like uh, not for profit. I don't know anything about opera, but... Neither did I until about a year ago. So. Have you traveled very much? Or? Um, try, try to get out and see uh, the country, Vegas or the Big Sur, <laughs> yeah, the country. Not sure if that's the country. <laughs> well, the desert, like, <clears throat> yeah. I like traveling because you can see it. Very different from England, I'm sure. Right, lots more space. Yeah. Did you 
graduate from college or anything? I went to uh, drama school. I'm an, I'm an actor, so in uh, in England. So you you've just gone for it, in other words. I did one year at university. I was doing science, and then I I didn't complete that, and then I went to drama school after that. So I kind of in that time I was doing lots of drama anyway. Then I realized I made the wrong decision to do science. So then I went to do drama. Yeah. Okay. Never been on a cruise. Never been on a cruise. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't think you looked like the cruising type. <laughs> you never know. It's yeah, cruising yeah. types. <laughs> I, I think I have enough information. Out of these three, my conversation with them has been interesting. The gentleman from, uh, from Colorado he said he was in the construction work and he might have owned the construction company <laughs> as well, took that into consideration. I think it's the guy with the cowboy hat. I think that the millionaire is just that's my choice. All right, so with the, the real millionaire, that's my choice. No. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Oh, I got to shake a hand with a millionaire. <laughs> That's how much I pay yeah. to share that, a bedroom <laughs> and an apartment with five people. Yeah. <laughs> Today we'll be playing true or false about the cost of living around the world. Do you know anything about it? I mean, I've lived in Asia for okay. a bit, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, I have so. no idea. Instead of like going to summer camp growing up, we traveled. I've spent like a month in Costa Rica, six weeks just living in Peru, and then like traveled around Europe. True or false, the United States is the 10th most populated country in the world. What are the other nine? I thought it was like seven. I think we're like four or five. You seem confident. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's like maybe six. That one is false. We are the third most oh, populated okay. after China and India. Wow. True or false, in Nigeria, a one-bedroom apartment in a city center costs upwards of $2,000 per month. I'm going to say true. I feel like this one's trying to trick me. Okay, yeah. I'm going to go with that. <laughs> that seems like pretty crazy. That's like LA price. Maybe it's true? I mean... I think it's false. That one is false. Oh, I'm sorry. Approximately $591.25 per month. I'm doing really badly. I'm just like nervous. <laughs> in the state of California, United States, one can expect to pay on average fourteen ten for a one thousand and twenty square foot apartment. I think but that's too low. I, I, you think it's too low? I feel like that's not a big. Is that like a one bedroom? I don't think it's big. Is this with utilities? Like, <laughs> I'm what are we false. talking about here? <laughs> True. I think. I don't know how big square yeah, foot me is. <laughs> is it false? That one's true. True or false, the most populated country in the world is China. True. True. Wait. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's true. Pretty sure that's true? Yeah. <laughs> that one is true. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I was worried. <laughs> In Nigeria, the average salary is the equivalent of 1,287.87 US dollars per month. That's too high. Yeah. Some places in Asia are like that. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna say false. That one's good. Oh. Maybe Nigeria is the place <laughs> to be. True or false, in Russia, the average salary as of 2019 is typically higher than 3,000 USD per month. I have no idea. <laughs> False, I don't know. I will say true again. I'm gonna go on a limb and say true. A month. I think that- I don't know why. That one is false. Okay. The average salary is around 43,030 rubles, or $698.81 in US dollars per month. That's about plus. In Brazil, rent for a 900 square foot apartment varies anywhere from 528 to 852 US dollars per month. I feel like it varies more than that. Because Brazil is a huge country, so oh, like... Oh yeah, it is, it's pretty, it's pretty big. Yeah. Uh, True. Really? I don't think that's that much for 900 square feet. That one's true. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting everything wrong. 
In Indonesia, a one-bedroom apartment in the city center would cost upwards of $900 a month USD. True. I think this is true. I took a class where we talked about um, the capital of Indonesia. I'm forgetting it now. Yes, Jakarta, thank you. <laughs> that one is false. So it's a lot cheaper? Wait, yeah? yeah. Okay, wow. <laughs> In Bangladesh, a one-bedroom apartment in a city center is about 131.17 US dollars per month. I think it's less than that. I think it's true. It's a very exact number, so... False? True, because that would be similar to Indonesia, maybe? That one is true. Oh, yes. I'll do. True or false, in Mexico, a simple, decent meal at a busy neighborhood restaurant or food court costs about $5. I think true. Yeah, I think that sounds about like. I think it's lower because it, yeah. it's like I agree. Like street food esque. Like that's always cheap no matter where you go. Yeah, that's true. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> a one bedroom apartment in a city center in Pakistan is the equivalent of ninety seven point seven seven US dollars per month. I think that that's true because it's a specific number. Yeah, <laughs> like, like what you were saying. Think, yeah, ninety-seven point seven seven US dollars is like a good deal. Yeah, so I would it's hope true. it's true. That one's true. Cool. Nice. True or false? In Mexico, one could expect to pay around twelve hundred US dollars for a furnished two-bedroom home per month. I'm gonna go with true. False, because that's like here. -ish. I think it might be less than that. Yeah, I would think it would be less, except that it's furnished, so that would, mm. maybe it's, that seems about right. That one is full. It's $750. Okay. Awesome. That's how much I pay yeah. to share that, a bedroom and <laughs> an apartment with five people. Yeah, and there's eight people living in my house, and that's my individual rent. Wow. True or false? A two bed, one bath apartment in China would typically cost around 4,500 renminbi a month which is about 587.5 US dollars, plus another 300 rimming B for utilities. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, one of us is right. I know in China, like, the rent would be pretty different depending on whether you're in a city or not. I think that's reasonable. -ish. I'm just gonna say true, too. <laughs> that one's true. Oh, okay. Uh, I think I only got, like, one right. <laughs> Honestly, same. Okay, yes. Cool. <laughs> that was really hard. I just think here is pretty expensive. Yeah. Yeah. And I realized I do not know that much about living expenses. Same. <laughs> and square feet. That is so much money. Oh my god. No, thank you. Today we're going to be guessing how much it costs to have kids in the U.S. My parents always talk about how it's very expensive. I think I want to have at least two by like 30? My first one? Yeah. <laughs> I would say like 26 or 27. I don't have any recent plans. No. <laughs> no. no. All right, so let's start answering these questions. Yes. True or false? The main cost of raising a child, including housing, food, transportation, healthcare, education, clothing, and other miscellaneous expenses. Yeah, right? I think that covers most of it. I think that's yeah. true. That, that seems logical. Yeah. True? That not that like everything? That one's true. <laughs> true or false, a nursery set typically costs around $500, including a crib, changing table, rocker, and dresser. I feel like it might be more. So false, I'm gonna say yeah. False. Definitely more than that. Aren't cribs expensive? And the dresser, yeah, maybe and the a dresser. dresser. Yeah, maybe the dresser. Yeah, yeah, okay. The dresser took it over. That one's false. Dresser set typically costs around $2,000. Whoa. Wow, that's crazy. Babies are expensive. <laughs> True or false, according to the National Diaper Bank Network, the cost of diapers range between $70 to $80 per month or $900 per year. How much comes in a box? I don't think diapers are that expensive. I guess that'd be, be true. I've never <laughs> bought diapers before, but... That's good. <laughs> no. Yeah, it sounds true. That is true. Yes. yes. True or false, new parents may lose the equivalent of 20 nights of sleep within the first 12 months of a child's life. Oh, God. <laughs> I feel like it's more than 20 nights. 12 months? That has to be, it has to be more. Probably true. true. <laughs> what if it's a quiet baby? I think it's false. I heard I was a quiet baby. <laughs> so I'm gonna support myself. That one's false. New parents may lose 
the equivalent of 50 nights of sleep. Oh, that's great. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's like worse than midterms week. I don't know. <laughs> Adoption can range from 15,000 to 40,000 in the US and international adoptions can cost as much as 10,000. I didn't realize that you paid that much. I didn't Wait, I didn't know you paid for adoptions. That's like <laughs> buying a kid. Isn't it? I feel like it's the opposite. Like adoption in the US is probably cheaper. Yeah, they're false. I think it's true. It's false. International adoptions can cost up to $15,000. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. True or false, in vitro fertilization can cost up to $40,000 per round, and many people may need multiple rounds of IVF to conceive. True? Yeah, I think that's true. I've had like relatives who have done in vitro, and I just know it's really it's expensive. expensive. Yeah. That one's true. Really? Yeah. You sound confident, and I know I'm pretty nothing, confident so with that one. I'm gonna agree with you. Now, this is false. In vitro fertilization can cost up to fifteen thousand dollars. Really? Oh. Per round, though. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's a little more affordable. So. True or false? The USDA says that housing accounts for twenty-six to thirty-three percent of the total cost of raising a child. This takes up the largest percent of the total cost of child rearing. This comes from averaging the cost of an additional bedroom. I feel like 26 to 33 is like a I feel realistic like that's a really amount. Solid, like yeah. realistic <laughs> number. I've heard that housing is like 30% of, or should be like 30% of your income. That's true. Please. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> As of 2017, the Department of Agriculture reported that the estimated average cost of raising a child from birth to age 17 for a middle-income family with two children is more than $170,000. True. Children are really expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a little less because it's until 17, so you're not like including college costs. That's more than like a, like a supercar. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to think that I'm worth more than a supercar, so. <laughs> if that makes sense. I think it's true. I don't know about being worth a supercar. That is true. Uh, <laughs> the average cost is $233,610. Wow. Oh my god. No, thank you. This is the last one. Food costs make up around 18% of the cost of raising a child for middle income families with two children. It says two children. Does that, okay, does I that think make that's a wrong. difference? I think it's more. What's your answer? <laughs> I feel like this is. Yeah. yeah. I think 18% is a good amount. It's true. Yes! <laughs> I kind of get why my parents always complain about me spending money now. <laughs> I feel like I need to send my parents money. <laughs> Maybe I'm not ready. 50 <laughs> nights of no sleep yeah. is a lot. If I saw these, I would donate them. I, I wouldn't even wear them. Today, we're going to guess the price of ripped jeans. jeans. Do you wear ripped jeans? Absolutely not. Why not? I have one pair of jeans. Although I did have ripped jeans when I was playing music and I had a little money. I know that people always have that misconception, like why pay more for less? I personally like them. It's just a more casual vibe for myself. Because they're cute and they have a rip, I'm going to get that. Okay, makes sense. Let's see if I can get close to the right price. These ones are like very big holes. This is hideous. No offense. Not very practical for formal occasions. But uh, it's not like you're going uh, out in the day to like a job interview in ripped jeans. I hope not. That's this is your entire me. thigh. <laughs> I mean, seriously. What if there's a theme and in the, in like it's a cowboy theme, but you want to be like cute cowboy? Like you'd wear cute these cowboy. with like a plaid shirt. Um, I think it's going to be one of those uh, crazy prices like uh, 200 bucks. Yeah, 175. You have no I thought idea. they were like 40. I'm gonna defer to you since you are the ripped jean lady. I don't know. Okay, $60. They are $69. Oh, still expensive though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you go, girl. Thanks. <laughs> okay, we know who knows this stuff better than I do. Second pair. Oh, these kind of wrinkly and. Oh, look says... at these ones have skin tags on them. Look at that. What? What's a skin tag? <laughs> Never mind. They got yeah. five, four buttons, no, five buttons. Oh, they're like Levi's. Cute little buttons here. That I feel are. like it's a different type of denim than the last one. They feel more expensive. Nothing that I would wear, certainly not sober. Buttons make it more, 200 bucks. 
150. 95? I'm gonna say 60 bucks. And there's 78. Ooh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so good. So is this like intentional? Like paint? And it's, they painted it for you. And it's Rocco brand. I've which never, I've never heard, heard of. I've heard that brand did a song before. <laughs> it belonged to a painter. These are definitely used. I feel like I see True Religion at TJ Maxx. That's where I shop. <laughs> I'm a You're a Maximista. I feel that these rips are less intentional. I would probably say like 75. 60 bucks. I'm gonna stick to 150, that's my safe space. I feel like it's just 50. Oh, I got it. You got that. I can give mine coffee stains for free. <laughs> okay, so La Jean. Wait, how's a French name? That adds 100 bucks. Super stained, super whole. If you put these on in a hurry, your foot will come out here. These are really distressed. They have little guitar pick pockets, see? Okay, 200 bucks. 200 bucks? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna agree. Mm. 125? I'm gonna go with 175. 270. Oh. My goodness gracious. I don't understand why they're 270. Like, we can I, do this at home. This I, looks like a DIY project. I know. They're very stretchy. They're kind of like just jeggings. If you needed ripped jeans for a formal occasion, these would be the ones. These are oh, cheaper. Oh, dang. Look at that stretch. These remind me of pants Ugh. that they sell at Costco. 25? No, 45. Three washes, they'll be done. Yeah, like 17.89. Okay, 17.89. Fashion Nova isn't. Yeah. They are $39. Ooh, you're pretty close. <laughs> That's good. I'm getting better at this. Are they like 50% off? That's not worth it. <laughs> Two washings and they're done. J brand, so we know. I don't know what that is. It's expensive. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the section I go through. Yes. I go, mmm, wish I could oh, afford. Oh, yes, yes. They're slightly ripped. They're not ripped enough to cost too much. That's true. Boy, these are actually kind of tastefully done. Yeah, I like these. Like, I would wear these. Speaking. Ripped in places that make it easy to access. I'm gonna see 200 bucks. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna trust you on that. 200. 200. 1695. 21.95. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, Daddy. Not a smart person's jeans, okay? Another Fashion oh my God, Nova. Fashion Nova coming for us again. They're elastic jeans. They're very stretchy. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, it just kind of looks like string cheese. I'm gonna say 175. Look, they even stretch at the ankles. That's a plug. I guess, That's yeah. so nice. Yeah. What did you say? 175. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. We know Fashion Nova is overpriced, so we're gonna have yeah. to guess 40 bucks again. Yeah, I was thinking 45. Okay. $35. Wow, <laughs> better than the other ones. More holes for your what? money. Exactly. I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll take Such it. A deal. These are so soft. Uniqlo. Oh, yeah, cheap. I like them. Yeah, you know, I have like rocks. two shirts. It looks like it had patches at one time, see? This isn't a real rip. If there's more denim underneath the rip, then it's not a rip. Mm. It's just like a. It's modest. Must it's say. a modest rip. I think probably $39.95. I'm going to go 60 bucks. 40 bucks, because Uniqlo is reasonable. 40? 40 might even be high. Yeah. 30? I, no, I think 40 is a good number. $40. Ooh, Ooh. look at you. Pretty close. Okay. <laughs> hey, if you want ripped jeans, wear them. I don't care. Have at it. Knock yourself out. It's all about the brand. Put yeah. a French name on it. Le 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 Debbie. Yeah. Maybe Le Debbie. <laughs> Let her rip. <laughs> Let her rip. <laughs> okay, this it. is not fair because if you I showed me a picture of her 20 years younger, I would have told you it was Harriet Tubman. What? Yeah. You She's just too old to tell. That's the only picture we've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> is this the only picture that exists of Harriet Tubman? <laughs> Hi, my name's Christina. Hi, I'm Nahal. And today we're guessing historical figures. My history is so bad. You know, we both go to UCLA, we probably don't know anything yeah, about like, literally. history or political figures or anything like that. We're gonna look at 12 pictures right now, political figures, and we're gonna try to guess who they are. Okay. Who? <laughs> this is like a founding father for sure. Wait, what? Did you say father? Look at him. Is that a, a guy or a girl? That's a guy. You sure? Yeah. He looks like a Timothy. Look like, like a Roger to me. Timothy Rogers? Timothy Rogers. Okay, that's what we're going with. So this is Susan B. Anthony. What? <laughs> I knew it was a girl. I knew it. No, he's no, a fucking it's guy. No, it's not a guy. Susan B. Anthony, she, um, she's a, a, a political act. She's an activist. Yeah, she's Good job. Wait, what, is she, what was she an she's, activist for? I don't know, but she was an activist. Women's rights. Women's rights. 
Mozart? <laughs> what? <laughs> what was this? <laughs> That's a girl. Queen Elizabeth the third. Oh, maybe. Maybe the first. The first? Actually, I don't know. Okay, we'll meet in the middle. Queen Elizabeth II. This is Marie Curie. She is a physicist, a chemist, and a pioneer in the study what? of radiation. Pioneer. Wow, she's a scientist. Uh, she also was the first woman uh, to get a Nobel Peace Prize. Wow. Who's this? Oh, f uh, I'm okay, the mustache, he's German. Not Einstein. He looks like Einstein, <laughs> though he does. It's huh? the mustache. Um, I'm gonna go with Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe? That's a good guess. The mustache, pretty mysterious, pretty dark, like his, his work. Final answer, Edgar <laughs> Allan Poe. You're right. Wow! Oh, I can't really guess on that, oh my god. Ooh. He definitely works for the military. Look at his vest. Yeah, he, I was about to say that. He, wow. um, I like his hair. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah. He's kind of cute. He kind of like Captain America. Yeah? No. He looks like a Theodore. Oh, he does look like a Theodore. 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 We don't know the last name. This is Thomas Edison. Oh! oh. We know him. <laughs> what did he invent? He, the, the light bulb? Yeah. The light bulb. Thomas Edison. Wow, he's actually pretty attractive. Yeah, he's kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, you know him. Am I supposed to know him? Yeah, no, I feel like I know him, but I just don't know his name. I know he's a scientist, I don't know what his name is. Oh, wait, is it Galileo? Galileo. He looks really familiar, I feel like I wrote a report on yeah. him in like 10th grade. Robert Willis. Who is that? I don't know. I thought you were saying Robert okay, Willis. Okay, okay, we'll go with your answer. What did you say? I forgot, Galileo. Galileo, this is Galileo. This is Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin. <laughs> he, oh, he, just, he, he was a scientist, yes. What did he do? I Charles Darwin, yeah. I forgot. Theory of evolution? So, Theory of evolution, wow. I have no idea what these people look like. Yeah, that's I know everything yeah. about them, but not what they look like. We should know this. Uh, I'm so embarrassed. I feel like she had something to do with the Underground Railroad. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like her name is Rosie. Rosie. <laughs> Rosie Parker. What? No. <laughs> this is Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman? Okay, this it. is not fair, because if you I showed me it. a picture of her 20 years younger, I would have told you it was Harriet Tubman. What? Yeah. You She's just too old to tell. That's the only picture we've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the only picture that exists of Harriet Tubman? I have no proof that she was young. He did something with um. Oh, what? It's Aristotle. Yeah, well, yeah, that, that looks about, yeah. Plato. Plato? God damn it. Dude, look, I was close. You sounded so confident. Yeah, because look at what he's wearing. This is. Oh my god. Who is this? Who I is can't this? see the picture. Who? Joanna Bark. No, yeah. no, I don't think so. No, yeah, this course. came out of my nose. It is, is it kid? is. How do you show? It is, yeah. It's Joan of Arc. See? Wait, what did Joan of Arc do? Um, she fought in a great battle and was murdered in that battle, right? She, she, she was a knight? She led the French army to victory mm -hmm. over the English, but she was burned at the stake. <laughs> you, you... Okay. Ooh, I like the earrings. Okay, this is, come on. Okay, what am I doing with my fingers? Wait, I, I he invented this the, He invented the printing press. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, he played piano. Yeah. What's his name? Well, if you know, why are you making me look because, bad? Because <laughs> I don't want to be wrong if I'm like, if I was okay, doing this. Okay, just say it. I'll back you up. Is, don't it, worry. is it Mozart? It's Mozart, guys. Did I say it right? Yeah. Mozart. Oh my this, god. This is Shakespeare? I feel like an oh, idiot. Oh no, yeah, it is Shakespeare. <laughs> That's so stupid. sad. I know who it's Shakespeare. Can you name one like. of his plays? We know him. Can you name one of his plays? Hamlet. I feel like an idiot. I was Othello. doing this. I feel really stupid for doing this for like five minutes. Queen Mary. <laughs> oh my god. Queen. You guys got color? She's definitely a queen. Look at her. She's balling. I think it's Queen Mary. I was really confident when I said Queen Which Mary. Which one? Oh. I hate my life. Oh my god. Who is this? This isn't even a real man. I'm so tired. He's he's Greek. Did we ever get Aristotle? The final answer? Aristotle? Yeah. Aristotle. This is Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar? Oh. This is a bad picture. Okay. Oh, last one. Okay. Who is it? I don't know. I don't want to look stupid to get on the internet. Yeah, I really don't want to say this and get it wrong. I don't know. I'm not <laughs> Christian. I don't know. I'm not involved in this answer if it's wrong or right. Okay, is this. If it's right, I'm involved. Is this Jesus? Yes. Okay, okay. I'm involved in this answer. <laughs> we didn't want to look, want to look wrong, you know? <laughs> but no one knows what he looks like. So even if we said it was Jesus, we could have been fine. Yeah. He should be darker than this. A lot darker. I we did a pretty good job. I don't remember how many we got right. We got okay. that wrong. Half point. Wrong. No, this is a full point. Wrong. I said it was a bit. Full point. This is half. And okay, we got three, four points. Wait. Three four? and two halves. Out of 12. Out of 12. Curb, we got eight I out of 12. I feel good. Right. To be honest, I knew more than I thought I would, yeah. so I'm proud of myself. I feel really stupid for doing this. 
I was so confident. I was like, oh, it's probably Mozart. No, gotcha. It's freaking Edgar Allan Poe. I thought Allen you were Poe talking about the printing was. press. I'm happy. Yeah, we did a, we did a pretty good I job. I think we did a good job. I was expecting to get one right. Honestly, we go to UCLA. I think I don't think you should be saying four, that. Four out of 12. I think we're going to get kicked out now. Four out, of, four out of 12 is pretty good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Do you think you guys are gonna like study up on your historical figures or are we? No, I'm done. Yes. I, I, oh, what? I did enough. <laughs> I was like, yes. I learned enough that I need, this is all I need to know. Who is this? You know. What? Let the audience know who this is. <laughs> I literally don't remember who this is. <laughs>